Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in <laughs> for a power. God knowing there's a snitch among us. Hey. I didn't know what was going to happen on the tail of what happened last week. Man. But I said, y'all wait until the last three episodes to really give us the old yeah. power. Yeah, what's up with that? So we, but we here for it though. We really here for we it. We here for it though. But let's go ahead and do the YouTuber thing. If you are not a family member, which means you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. It's free 99. The price will go up eventually. Indeed. Go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. At this point, guess what? It doesn't even matter. You've exactly. You've already been counted. Bow. So let's get on into this recap of this here. Indeed. Power. I'm not doing a review like we used to do it. So don't get in the comments and say you missed this, you missed that, missed that. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. The juicy stuff. <laughs> the juicy you. stuff. Yeah. So we start off the episode, of course, Ghost is still going crazy because of what Tasha them did, set the plan up behind his back. He always doing stuff behind other people's back. When they do it behind him, he can't handle it. Oh, yeah, he can't do it. So while they arguing, Hickam Tariq come up there and be like, you know what, Dad? It was not their idea. It was my idea. So wait a minute. Since when that was your idea? They brought you into the plan, player. But he said, out of all of y'all, I was the only one that loved, uh, that loved Canaan. So he was the one who took that off. Yeah. So I decided to take an L so that y'all can win. I said, okay. I said, wait a minute. Wait when, a minute, Tariq. But it took me back to what Canaan had told him in the car. Yeah. Canaan had told him, said, listen, you ain't really identified as a real killer until you kill someone that you love. Yeah. Now, in my mind, as Mike B would say, I thought when he told Kanan to go ahead and take him back home, I said, what is he about to do to somebody in his household? Yeah. I ain't really know that the boy loved Kanan like that. Nah, So had basically, no idea. you gave him the plan to kill Yo, you. <laughs> he took what you said and said, you know what, bruh, I'm the only dude that love you. Yeah, I will go ahead and kill you for that one. But at the same time, <laughs> to prove to myself that I'm about this life. Now I can appreciate you saving all of y'all, but you still beside yourself. You you 17 years old, talking to your dad and your mama like 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 they're your kids. And Ghost is well, Ghost is up to here with him, but at the same time, you produced the boy. Well, didn't he son them though? Yeah, he sunned them. Yeah. So at the end of the day. As much as we hate what Tariq has done, we hate the attitude that Tariq is bringing, mm -hmm. but Tariq did that. Yeah. Yeah. He brought that home. <laughs> he brought that home from him. He could have got killed, but he brought it home for him, though. But so, the kind of trip me up was Ghost said, look at you, you little mom. You little mom. <laughs> but he couldn't do too much because he was looking at himself. Yeah. He looking at, yeah, Ghost looking at Ghost. Can't and tell them nothing. Like when they said in the episode, uh, what you call it, say, Ghost, when you get an idea in your head, Angela told him, said, when you get an idea in your head, there's no changing you. But with Tariq, I'm like said, that too, though. Yes. Yeah, I'm with like Tariq that. With Tariq, you in that suit don't change who you, you are. are. Just like sending me to this school ain't gonna change me. And I said, <laughs> like father, like son. And Tommy <laughs> tripped me out, boy. Tommy said, you, you need to do you something with your son. That boy. Yeah, you need to do something with that boy. <laughs> It's almost like when, when you got somebody that's always in the cut that can correct your kids. Yeah. But at this moment, they said, I don't want nothing to do with that skin. <laughs> that's you. That's you. You correct that. But but being Tariq's dad, knowing that you try to shield him from that and he's starting to become that, how do you handle that, though? How do you mold him to become what y'all are or try to break him to not go down that path? How do you do that? You know, maybe what, maybe what he need was that program we had when we was in school, Scared Straight. Maybe he need to go there and me. go into prison to see how it really is to be behind bars. Because that's what, that's what he had, just like they are. But he's ghost kid. So in his mind, that's never going to happen to him. Yeah. But it's like this. It's like an apple tree trying to bear bananas. <laughs> So you a gangster in a suit, but you trying to produce a good kid to be a good productive citizen in the community. It don't work. You have to be that in order to produce that. He was trying to be that. Like everybody's been saying in the comments, like he was trying to get out of the game, no. but he was trying to get out of the game, but you still are the game. Exactly. <laughs> you too, you it, like, like, it's, like what you call say, I'm in too deep, like Makai fight. You in too deep now, ghost. Like, like Jamal used to tell us, 
you can't fool a fooler. No. Because I am a fool. So, he called himself Killing Milan, Killing uh, 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 Ghost, Killing Milan, Killing uh, Lobos to try to get out the game. But Tommy, of course, Tommy don't want him to get out the game. So, he too far in. Yeah, he's too far in. So, the question is, what you do with Tariq? So, like you said, he's like, you boy, you need to go back to school. I'm trying to keep you focused. But like Tariq said, me going to school don't change who I am. Ghost, teach me the motherfucking game. I said. I was like, I, what I'm gonna need you to do, I know you 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 smell yourself, you don't got your first piece of snatch and all that good stuff. You 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 know, you don't got somebody killed and whatnot. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to start calling dad dad. I mean Yeah, he your daddy, because you went from this this respectable kid. To this gangster after you got finished talking to him. And Kane. calling your dad ghost to his face. Yeah, not dad, like, but ghost. I said, okay, we've heard him call him ghost, but yeah. to his face, though. Yeah. I... See, me, I, if I had called my mom with him by their real first name, not nickname, but real. The oh, government. I wouldn't even be here doing reviews right now. I... See, these kids get today get away with too much goddamn skit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Tariq, Tariq is on one, I'm trying to tell you. So, now we got... Oh, Dre, Alicia is going crazy. She ain't mad that her brother is dead. She mad because Dre ain't getting her shipment across the bridge like she want. She and shed she, a tear or nothing. Yeah, she going crazy like, my brother's here end up in my hotel. What you going to do about it? What you yeah. doing, Dre? You supposed to be handling this. <laughs> Not my brother's head, yeah. but it's in the hotel. And then she going to talk about some rest in peace. No. Oh. How for you wanted her? You wanted him dead. You remember? Man, there's no honor amongst these, man. Nah. So, now, Dre done got demoted, and Kristen Ball done been freaking promoted. And he's supposed to be all right with it. Yeah. So, now, he got to work for Kristen, Kristen Ball, and he not feeling it. I tell you, Dre has been losing this entire season. He been losing. But that's what he get. That's what he get. See, you you was Ghost's, uh, Ghost was mentoring you, but you didn't finish getting the lesson. Because you thought you could do it. Try to tell you. Now you demoted. Now you back to where you started. And getting Alicia's. Yeah. Because Crystal Ball getting that now. So we see Angela come in and tell uh, Dre, you need to give up Alicia. Because you're looking at, you a dead man anyway. Either way, you a dead man. So you might as well go and give her up and get in police um, protection. Which I don't trust that. Because they ain't trying to protect nobody. Mm -mm. They just trying to get who they going to get. And send you out to the woods to die. But you know what I noticed? Every time they try to get somebody to turn and they see that nothing budges, what do they do? They pull the, what's going to happen to your daughter? Yeah. What's They did it to Proctor. Get your weakness. Yeah. Your weakness. Play on your weakness. And Dre was like, and I said, Dre, don't act like you can't. I ain't seen your, your baby since, all season. I haven't seen your baby since Kane and Hedda hanging out the window. Nope. I believe <laughs> I can fly. I haven't seen her. Ain't seen her since. They got a hell of a day going nanny. Yeah. Now we're Kane and Dora there too. Exactly. Where they at? With, huh. with the rest of the missing kids from Pop over there at Big Mama House. Cause we don't never see the kid. We don't see Cash. We don't see little girl. Uh, what's 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 ta um, Tasha and them daughter name? Oh, uh, God darn. I can't think child name. I can't even think her That's name. how much we don't see Yeah, it, it don't even, like Mike B said, don't even matter. Uh -uh. So, she done convinced him. Yes, that's her name. Yeah, gonna convince him, Dre to give up Alicia. So, the part that confused me was because before before uh, they got Alicia, uh, Crystal Ball came to talk to Dre, you know, make sure we good, you know. You know, when you got beef with somebody, you know, you get the one up on them. Chris Ball was like, you know what? I ain't had nothing to do with it. She approached me, told me I got promoted, and you got promoted. I want to make sure we good. Because now you got to be answering to Yeah. Me. So Dre was like, yeah, we good. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is Chris Ball, you going to fall for this bullshit? You got to remember how Dre was treating you when he was over you. He had you calling him Mr. Coleman. <laughs> You had to respect, put respect on his name. Now all of a sudden, he good with you being promoted and he being your number two? Come on now. So Chris Ball was like, yeah, you know, I'm glad you're good with it and everything. I thought you could take it a different way. Matter of fact, she gave me promotion. I think she want to give me that A. And I'm about to go over there and see. I'm about ready and to go over like, there. he was like, for real? 
Mm, okay. So, okay, okay. I said, all y'all nasty. So, we saw when Dre told, Aunt, told Angela, they bought everybody to have a drop. It's going to be at such and such. You can get them there. But they go and pick them up when Crystal Ball was about ready to get some drawers. And I'm like, she don't keep stuff in her house. Like yeah, it was so and said, we're getting you for racketeering. But I was like, you didn't catch them doing nothing. Yeah, so I, I really get it. So maybe they're going to fill that in next week. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, put a pin in that one. We'll yeah, so I, 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 I don't know what that one is. So now we got Mr. Proctor. Proctor is always in some bullshit. I had my eyes on Proctor. I, I started not trusting Proctor. You I'm know, because ever since ever since he got his license back, he different. He been brand new. Yeah, he been so brand new. So he, uh, John Mock, and uh, what you call it, corrupt him. Say, you know what? We need you to wear a wire to get something on St. Patrick. He was like, no, it's it's like, no way in hell am I doing that. I said, okay, maybe we got the old Proctor back. Then they said, what, what about, about your, your what about your dog? In that case. We can guarantee you that you're going to get custody for your child yeah, you so that your crackhead wife won't get them. And we'll get you a profile. He's like, okay. 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 But then <laughs> he said, but if I wear a wire, depending on what's said and what's not said. Exactly. And that's what I said. Oh, he got you. Because basically he's going to come back with nothing. Exactly. And you have to leave him alone because that's what you agreed to. But it still kind of scared me, though. Cause I was like, what's way Prompt is going to play this thing? That's what I was saying. Like, what's way he going to play this thing? So he got with Ghost, started talking, wrote on a piece of paper, I'm wearing a wire. And so they started talking about Mike Sandoval. So. And Ghost was like. And asking about Angela. So Ghost denied everything. They, he don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. And at the end of the conversation, Ghost was pissed. Yeah. I thought he was going to throw Proctor over that leg. Because Proctor took the wire and he disconnected, disconnected it. So they could really talk. And he was like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I've been telling you from the jump. From the jump. Get that Angela of. is going to take you down. But you, you need to get rid of. Said, so matter of fact, her puss make my words irrelevant to you. <laughs> and I'm your lawyer. Yeah, and I'm your lawyer. I tried to tell you, James. And he said, the feds is coming down here. Basically, he said, do you think that I would ever be wearing a wire right now? Yeah. If it really wants some skit? Exactly. So he said, the feds are shaking everybody down. If I'm here with a wire, don't you know what they're probably doing to Angela right now? Exactly. And what your problem is, what is she telling them? Exactly. And if I really wanted to take you down, why would I tell you that I'm wearing a wire? And he was like... <clears throat> So okay. I said, maybe maybe we got the proc old Proctor back, but we're going we're gonna to still be watching. He was scared, though. Yeah, he was scared, though, because he was shaking for a was like, uh, Ghost was like, you a little nervous? You all right there, Proc? Yeah. I've been nervous, too. That's, uh -huh. that's a dangerous, dangerous game, boy. I said, you did it with some killers. So now we have Sammy is giving everybody the side. Now, he don't trust don't nobody. Because the dude that came back because they was doing the drop, and the, and the truck got stopped, randomly stopped by the police. He was like, why are you late? He's like, we randomly got stopped. So Sam all of a sudden was like, something is not right. Somebody is a snitch amongst us. Somebody is ratting us out in everybody this organization. And everybody else. And everybody pointing at everybody, everybody. So we see later on the episode, um, cause uh, Sammy told uh, Teresa, we ain't finished the conversation. We need to figure out because Teresa was like, just let it go because everything started getting heated in the room. Mm -hmm. You know, temperatures started rising and he wanted to bring it back down. So, uh, later on in the episode, they were sitting there and um, Sammy told Teresa, you need to drop the dime on Tommy. Tommy is a snitch. It's like, what? What? Teresa did play it cool though. Yeah, but he played it cool. He was like, yeah. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking. He said, matter of fact, you psychic. <laughs> mm. I was thinking the same thing. That I need to drop the dime on time. And I was like, wait a minute, wait and a minute. All of us could be rolling in the dough and we be yeah. good. I was like, wait a minute, but you just told Connie that you weren't going to do it. Because Connie told you that if you drop the dime on timing, when I die, you're going to be all by yourself. And they had your wheels turning. So now you're going to do that for, for Sammy? So... Hmm. We see that they get in an argument later in the episode. They get in an argument going back and forth, and uh, Tommy roll in there while he was like, he was on the phone. He was talking to John Mockham, and he was um, giving up goats on some stuff. Mm -hmm. But denying everything that came with Tommy, which yeah. is what Sammy was waiting for him to talk about. So Sammy was overhearing that bullshit, and when he got on the phone, he was like, wait a minute. 
You told me that you was going to give up Tommy, but you talking about St. Patrick. So they arguing by that time Tommy walk in and Teresa had to take out God Don Sammy. That Sammy was going to tell Tommy what the deal was. What the was. deal was. I said, no, Sammy. Oh, no. man. Man, it <laughs> so it got to the point now where they have to take out family to cover their own way. Because you know how Teresa and Sammy was like this. Matter of fact, he was going to shoot Sam Well, he wasn't going to shoot. Gonna shoot. He, yeah. He was psyched. Yeah, he was psyched. <laughs> so Sam was like, I did all this skit. We need to take him down. And he ended up getting killed, man. And they I, I, wouldn't, Tommy, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming either. And then go tell Tommy, there's some trash bags under the sink. You're going to have to help me get rid of the body. And I was like, hold on. Didn't you kill him? You, yeah. You get rid of the body. And then Teresa was like, he was a snitch. And here go Tommy, stupid tail. Tommy was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was him. What? I said, Teresa can't do no wrong in Tommy's eyes. Because your mama, they bagged up the other dude in, in the garage. That's where that plan came from. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angela so happened to be snooping around. She gets suspicious that something ain't right. So, she ended up finding John Moxton files with, with Teresi with them. In the photographs. Yeah, in the photos. So, she takes pictures of him and takes it back to Ghost and shows him the Ghost saying... This is what's going on right here. We have a problem here. We have a problem. This is this is gonna take all of us down. You need to do something. Fix it. We gotta do something about that. Look, fix it. And the old ghosts have come back. I said, finally, the, the chess playing ghosts. I said it took for Dagon Canaan to die for him mm -hmm. to stop playing chess. Now. Exactly. So he was like, I can't take this to Tommy because Tommy ain't gonna believe me because Tommy don't trust me right now. So he go to God don't miss. I said, this an old slick talk itself. <laughs> so Vincent was like, you know, what the hell you got to talk to me about? And Ghost was like, I got something that you need. So he shows him the pictures of Teresi and with um, John mocking them with fake. So Ghost told him, said, this is what we need to do. You need to tell Tommy that he need to take out Teresi because if he don't do that, both of us going to be going down. Mm -hmm. See, he not going to trust me, but he going to trust you. And you tell him that. And tell him that if he do that, you going to let him back in your organization. And it's going to be a win-win for the both of us. So, this was like, oh. When he saw them <laughs> pictures, he was like, oh. Because mm -hmm. you know Vincent don't have his good eye on Teresa the whole time anyway. Exactly. Like, everybody else been looking. But you can tell that Vincent had his eye on Even though he was backing him up with, that, with all the other ones. Remember the other guy was like, something yeah. ain't right. Vincent was like, yeah, but now he really know that stuff ain't on the up and up. Yeah, and then you got to remember, Ghost had to clear his name. Yeah. It was like, can't he lie to you. I want the one to put that hit out on that shoot. So, just to get that straight. Because he could have got shot right there. Because as yep. soon as he walked in, he said, oh, you brave for showing your face around him. Yeah. Ghost was like, what the world? Talking about. But he, but he knew something was up. He knew something was up between Tommy and Kanan had said some bullshit. So, and later on in the episode, we see Tommy goes over and talks to Vincent, and Vincent show him the pictures. Now Tommy is freaking butt hurt. He was like, mm, "No, yeah, this ain't not. Nah, this it got to be some kind of mistake. This is my dad. This ain't. This is a mistake." And then he saw one picture. He said, "I know that. Mom. I know that mom." Couldn't deny it. So we see them two in the car. He driving her to go, driving him to go see um, Connie. Mm. And he ain't saying nothing. And Teresa's like, you okay? You know he knows something. You know he knows something. So Tommy was like, you never really told me the details of how you really got out. So Teresa know right there, he got you. Yup, got you. So he, you know, when you guilty, you don't want to talk. So he said, I'm going to take you over to Connie, and after you finish talking to Connie, this conversation this, co this conversation is going to continue. So he go see, so Teresa go see Connie, tell Connie, you know what, he know. And she was like, oh. Oh, my God. So she was so, like, up the river for, he's like, no, I'm yeah. not going to tell on him. Yeah. I said, you ain't going to have a chance to. Yeah. Because we know how Tommy is. Once you don't cross Tommy, there's no convincing him that you were innocent so. Because earlier in the episode, Tommy was sitting there talking to Keisha. 
and Keisha was talking to him about yada, yada, yada. And she was like, you know, I know you, boo. You in the game and you push weight and whatever. But you ain't never killed nobody. He, he quickly took a two trick in that water. I oh, said, he ain't killed nobody today. Today. <laughs> Until now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he picks the rest it back up. And he was like, I'm taking you home, Dad. So he go home. Teresa go in the closet. He pulls out a bag. It's a gun. I was like, wait a minute. That's a Teresa. Is he, is he going to kill Tommy before, before Tommy kill him? And Tommy had to, of course, Tommy had to do what he had to do. He don't trust his dad. Bow! Took him out. But I like what he told him in the car. He said, you know where this ring come from right here? Yeah. It was somebody that I really trust and I mm -hmm. really love. They ain't here no more. Yeah. I said... You just signed your birth, your death certificate. <laughs> <laughs> he killed Holly. Cause you like, yeah, cause he let Holly in. She violated him. Mm -hmm. He let uh 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 Keisha. In. She all right right now. She in. Um, there was one more person. He let it. Look, Teresa. Teresa. He let him in. Of course, Ghost him already been. God darn man. God darn Tommy man. Had to shoot his dad. But I was hurting for him though, cause it was like. Yeah. Ghost tried to warn him though. So it's almost like I told you so. Now yeah. he got to go back with his tail tucked between his legs. Yeah, but I understand that when you don't have your dad there and your dad comes back and you've been looking for your dad and you want that, because truthful, it ain't nothing like the love of a dad. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. And for him to get that at that stage in his life and put that trust in him to come to find out that his dad was trying to drop a dime on him. And, and then Teresa go talking about some. Once I got to know you, I wasn't going to drop the dime on you. You should have told him that in the beginning. Yeah. If you told him in the beginning, I'm out. I got out. I told him I was going to drop the dime on you so I can be with my be with the last minutes of Connie's thing. But I don't intend on dropping the dime on you. I'm going to do it on ghost. Maybe Tommy might would have took you back. I don't know. What you think? Because at this point, you know, Tommy don't trust Ghost. So maybe he might have won. But this I, is one of those things, too. I can talk about my brother. But you, We yeah. can beef, but yeah. you can't say skit about it. Yeah. <laughs> I and, think it's like that. And the, and the bad part about it is almost like Tommy had to take him out because Tommy been running this right here. Been yeah. telling him everything, how the organization works, who he's getting his product from, you know, who he's working for. It. So Teresa know everything. So he got the information to drop the dime. So he, he had to be taken out. So he took him out and took him over there to, to the Teresa burial site. Yeah. And dropped him off over there. Dropped him off right there. <laughs> Saved the hearse a trip. God don't. I said, God don't it. He went before Connie did. Well, I got a feeling Connie kind of going to die that night anyway. But the, part, but the part that hurt me was. Man. He, had, he went back to his mama house and had to crawl up in her arms and tell her you, you was right. right. And she said. He said, Ma, I killed him. He she said, said, you did the you right, did the right, right thing. thing. Said, that part, man, that part hurt my soul. And Tommy was crying. I said, no, I was like, man. oh, man. It was but like I, watching Michael Myers cry, though. Yeah. It was like I, a Stone Cold Killer dude got man, hot in there somewhere. But I'm like, bro, you had to go cry in, in ghost homes, too, man. I'm <laughs> trying to tell you, too. That's how he, that's the same look he had when he was in that flow. After he had killed Holly, yep. Ghost had to come by. Yep. And him and Ghost was on the outs then too. Exactly, they was on the outs. So it's almost like whenever Tommy get close to somebody else, him and Ghost end up on the outs. On the outs, yep. That's crazy, That right? is crazy. But we almost forgot that we rather remember that Tariq had went to go see Vincent. Because he wanted Vincent to help him to move that weight that Kanan had left behind. He said, I can push these pills all day yeah, long, but this school, right here, I, I need some help doing I'm gonna this. I'm going to need help. This was like, how the hell? I don't know if I could trust you. He was like, you know, if I could go somewhere else, I would win somewhere else. And he was like, and uh, Vincent was like, you know what? i give you one shot. And Tariq said, I need one more thing. I need a fake ID. I was like, fake ID for what? And so, this fool. So this fool go down to the, I guess he was at the prison, at the jail. I don't know yeah, where he, he was, was at. Down there. And his fake ID, he ain't Tariq no more. He Eric Stalk. So I said, so what you supposed to be, one of Kanan's sons? Yeah. So he end up, you know, the police like, sorry for your loss. And give him a package. I don't know what's in it the package. It was um, Kanan's lap, all the stuff that was on Kanan when he, when oh, he died. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. 
It's so I'm like, okay, okay. Where are we going with this, Tariq? Yeah, you know, Tariq didn't go, get back on that train to go back to school when his yeah. dad had told him to. He turned right on back around and walked back out. Yep. So I, I, I don't know where Tariq is going with that, but we all believe that he's becoming uh, Ghost Jr. Um, soon to rise. So we're going to see. Yeah. So either he's going to get taken out or he's going to rise. That's what I believe. I think he's going to rise. So. And I think what's going to happen is... This is what I think is going to happen. I think that um, Ghost is going to either, no, he's going to have to bring his son into the organization. Because if not, his son is going to start rolling with Vincent and all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like full time, full time, not just yeah. on a trial basis. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because he already put in his application. Yeah. So, you know, you know he done got hired. So, it's only going to go further from there if he do the right thing. This is something else right here. So, at the end of the episode... Angela get called in to the goddamn room because Teresi is dead now. And you got to remember, she knows now. And they know that she know about Teresi because Mark had to pretty much tell her that because he, cause she confronted him about it. So she, he was like, you need to tell me everything I need to know because Teresi is dead. In other words, we know that Johan Paul has got something to do with it. Because you told him. Because you told him. God don't. So it's almost like whenever you find out some really good information, those people end up dead. Yep. So tell us what you know. So in my mind, like Mike B said, the only way you can get out of this, you got to give up ghosts. So I want to see how in the world she's going to wicker her way out this one. Because they got you now. And then from the previews of next week, which I hardly ever look at previews, but I happen to look at this one. It looked like them suckers going to try to run. I, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Damn. But they got the squeeze on. They got her by her motherfucking Nick right now. But I would love to know. Well, I but I need her to go down. Though. That's what I say. I want to see her go down. But the guy doing right, she <clears throat> got this hard one for for Angela, where Angela always seems to rise up on top like got doing butter. So Ange Angela need to spend some time behind the ball. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah. angle ain't won't that good. Don't yeah, she needs. Like yeah, yeah she needs to spend some time. You know, Big Bertha need to get to her and everything. Yeah, behind them balls. Oh, Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Suit down. Holla.